And many local politicians will tell you we have a migrant housing crisis here in Massachusetts, and that's especially true in Framingham. Late this afternoon, Eileen and Jean Muller were bringing supplies to a Framingham firehouse after the city put out a call for diapers, socks, water, and other supplies to help a dozen asylum families that just arrived from Haiti. They came in with only the clothes on their back. Mayor Charlie Sasitsky got the call from the state saying 40 migrants from Haiti needed emergency housing. Those families got housing for the short term until more permanent housing can be found. We weren't that prepared for it. Nobody's prepared for it. That, that they don't write a rule book for what to do when that happens. The Mullers have been to Haiti and understand the need. We love the Haitian people. We've been there and uh, we love them. People are in need. You know, they're coming from a broken country. They've had nothing. People are starving. And it's wonderful that they're coming to our community. Everybody stepped up and parked their egos at the door and kind of worked together. And like the fire chief said, let's set up a couple boxes in our different fire stations. Tell people what you want, and I'm sure they'll respond. And they responded as unbelievable. Among those 40 Haitians, many of them are school kids. The mayor told me today if those kids are still living here come Labor Day, they will enroll in Framingham Public Schools. Live in Framingham, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.